is what exactly is meant by the meaning of the word lamam? Translated here as, I believe, small faults in the verse of Surah Najm. There's a verse in the Quran, in Surah Najm, chapter number 53, verse number 31 and 32, where Allah subhanahu wa says that to Allah belongs everything in heavens and the earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created everything in the heavens and the earth. And he gives to every evil act according to the deeds. And he rewards every good act according to the best. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if a person avoids the major sins and the shameful deeds, except the lamam, translated as small faults, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive him. Now there is a difference of opinion among the scholars as far as what is the meaning of this Arabic word lamam. If you read at tabri volume number two, page number 527, it says that according to most of the Salafs, they said that lamam, it means any sin done only once, even if it's a major sin. And this was the view of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, Mujahid, may Allah have mercy on him, and so on and so forth. But if you read Qurtubi, volume 17, page number 71, there it says that, according to Sayyid ibn Musayb, he says that lamam means a thought which comes into your mind once and goes away. It means maybe an evil thought which comes and goes away. According to Al Hassan ibn Fadl, he says that lama means forbidden glance that you give once, unintentionally, without the intention. But if you give a second glance, then it's a sin. As our beloved Prophet said, the first glance is forgiven, the second is prohibited. So if it's the first glance without intention, then it comes into the small sins of lama. And further, if you read in Tabri, volume number two, page number five to six and five to seven. Some of the scholars, they say that lama means the sins done by the Muslims before they accepted Islam at that time in the days of jahiliya, in the ignorance, which Allah will forgive all the sins. This is lama. Because when the non-Muslim mushrik used to tell those who became Muslims that these things used to do yesterday, and now you say it's a sin. So this verse was revealed. Surah Najm, chapter 53, verse 31, 32, saying that stay away from the major sins and the shameful deeds. And what is the lamam means the past sins that I do, Allah will forgive. But according to most of the scholars, the majority of the scholars, they say that lamam means minor sins or small faults. And further, if you read the view of Imam Ragib, he says that lamam means small minor sins and the hadith of Sayyid Bukhari, volume number eight, hadith number 6243, where Abne Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, he says that he does not know the meaning of Lamam except what he heard from Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, who says that the Messenger of Allah said that every son of Adam has his share of adultery and he does it inevitably. The adultery of the eyes is a person giving a gaze which is forbidden. The adultery of the tongue is to speak. And what is in one's desire, his own wishes. And then his private part will either confirm or deny. So there's a difference of opinion as far as the word lamam is concerned. And further, if you read according to Imam an he says that lamam means what a person intends to do but does not do. A person thinks of doing but does not do. Means he's going towards that but does not do. These are small sins. Furthermore, the other scholars, they say these are specific small sins. But according to Qurtubi, volume number 17, page number 70, that lamam means minor sins or small faults, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah will forgive. And they give cross reference of Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse number 31, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as long as you stay away from major sins, he'll forgive your small sins. I think that's a very comprehensive answer, Dr. Zakir. Jazakallah khair.